channel. In one of the videos that I shared with you, I demonstrated how to conduct a search strategy in PubMed. I never got to do it in Google Scholar, although the techniques are transferable. Now I want to show you how to do it in Google Scholar as well and it is relatively easier to do it in Google Scholar than it is in PubMed. So if I'll direct your attention to the screen. So when you are searching for literature in Google Scholar, you may just type into the search field here that you see right on the screen, but that is not going to give you very relevant literature so you may think about going to what we call the advanced search now where do you find the advanced search so when you look at the top left corner of your screen you'll see three bars and when you click on these three bars you're going to see a sidebar menu that shows up and this sidebar menu has profile library alerts metric advanced search and settings so what we need is advanced search so when you click on advanced search you will get this kind of dialog box and it has the fields one says with all the words then the other says with the exact phrase then the other field says with at least one of the words then the other field says without the words so i'm going to explain what what each of these fields mean so with all the words means that they are going to return results of articles that have all the words that you put in that field Okay, so this is similar to the AND boolean operator that we looked at in PubMed. Okay, so anything that you put in this field is going to be assigned an AND boolean operator. Then let's go to the next field with exact phrase. Now this phrase here with exact phrase, when you put in something like blood cancers, they are not going to bring studies that were done in blood or those that were done in cancer. They're going to bring only studies that were done in blood cancer. So you, they'll bring the exact phrase. There are these keywords that are, are usually made up of three or four words. So those ones, you want to put them in the exact phrase area if you want to have that exact terminology come out. Then we have the other field here, which is called usually this one gives you at least one of the words now this one is similar to our o boolean operators that we looked at in pubmed okay so this one when you put the words here they are going to be assigned an or so usually you want to put synonyms here then we have the fourth one which is without the words now this is similar to the not boolean operator of pubmed as well then we have our filters here you remember in PubMed the filters we are on the side here we have the filter so we have anywhere in the article filter then we have in the title filter then we have return articles authored by so you can type in an actual author that you want and then we also have articles of a particular journal which you may also be interested in you may be interested in Lancet or any other journal then you also have a time period. It's usually wise to select a time period because most literature reviews are limited to the last 10 years. If the topic is really studied a lot, then you might want to break that down back, reduce it even further to about five years or so. So this is where you do it from. All right, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you using an example. I'll use the same example that we used in PubMed. So we are going to use leukemia. So what I want is I want to look at obesity in children with leukemia. So I'm going to combine those words with and. And so I'm going to put them in the first field. So leukemia, obesity. Now, I may want to add children, but I may want to put the synonyms of children. Now, here is the difference between Google Scholar and PubMed. In Google Scholar, we don't have the luxury of building so many uh, strategies and bringing them together. We oftentimes have to deal with one synonym at a time, one keyword and its synonyms at a time. So here I'm going to add the synonyms of child, which are child, children, childhood. Okay, because I want, I don't want obesity in adults, so I want obesity and leukemia in children. So that's why I'm putting all those synonyms. I may even add teen, adolescent, I may add as many of these. 
and then I'm also going to try and limit this to only the articles that have these in their title and then I'm also going to try and limit the time period to let's say 10 years so I could do 2011 and so when I do my search those are the that's the literature that is going to show up under the topic that I'm selecting so what is important is the result so you see I've only gotten about 48 results if I was to do the same search plainly in the in this ordinary search field without using these boolean operators as you can see google returns uh, the search strategy the way we write it actually in pubmed if you can look you can see all in title then we have the all boolean operators okay and so you can see that the results have been reduced down from several thousand to just forty eight thousand i can demonstrate this by actually doing a search in the general google without putting in those filters just putting in the same keywords and you'll see how many uh, results we are going to get so le let me demonstrate this and you see what i'm talking about so using advanced i got 48 hits let's try this let's put leukemia and then we put obesity so here i'm just using the 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 google scholar general field search field obesity let's put child let's put children let's put teenage the same that we put the other side and then let's put maybe a dollar cents it's okay and then I do my search so you can see I have 9690 hits so what does that tell you it tells you that if you just put those same keywords and synonyms that I have put in the advanced search you're going to get so much literature that you're not going to have time to go through all the 9000 and also most of them may not be relevant as you can just look at the few that are here they are not relevant to the research topic that I'm trying to look at so that's why you need uh, to follow the advanced search and be able to um, determine what synonyms you want to use so that is really how to conduct a search using google scholar and then you can of course put your synonyms if you want now to put the synonym of obesity what you're going to have to do now is you're going to switch up synonyms because we were using the synonyms of child so now we are going to put leukemia and uh, maybe childhood and then we are going to put the synonyms that we want of obesity here so now you see the difficulty here is that we are we we are only putting one synonym for 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 child or children in the field that has the and because if we put all the synonyms we are likely not to get any hit so that is a challenge which means you have to do more searches with with this uh, advanced search but you're going to get very relevant results so let's add uh, obesity let's add weight gain we're going to get a set of different results really and you see we still have 1229 129,000 sorry so let's go back to our search and try to look in the title as well and also reduce our time frame to about 2011 that's 10 years and see how we reduce our so we've reduced our search to about 41 some of the articles that we saw in the previous search strategy have reappeared but then we may have got a new articles because we've now introduced some new synonyms that were not in the previous search as we may go ahead to look so this is how to use Google Scholar in such a basic way there are more things about it that we may talk about in a future video we will talk about the results themselves how to use some of these aspects of the results okay but that will be in a later video so thank you so much for watching if you like the video please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this my name is Nelson bye bye